Bell of Louisville riverboat on the river. A horse made out of bourbon. What says Kentucky more than that? Hey you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the south, more specifically Louisville, Kentucky. And even more specifically than that, I'm in front of the Louisville Visitor Center. Just arrived in town, so I figure I shall allow myself to be welcomed here at the Welcome Center. Now, there's a lot of discrepancy on how you actually pronounce the name of the city. It's either Louisville, Lovell, I'm pretty sure that's not it. Louisville, Louisville, Louisville. I don't know, you guys vote, which one is it? Of course, there's only one man qualified to welcome a person to Louisville, and that is the Jim Morrison of Kentucky, Colonel Harlan Sanders. Not only do they have this beautiful wax figure of Colonel Sanders here, but they have this beautiful wax bucket of chicken. Delicious. Some of the notable Colonelisms. Oh, gotta hit the button. And there it is. The original suit worn by Colonel Sanders. Of course, Colonel Sanders, not the only famous person from Kentucky. Here is the former Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali. He doesn't get a wax figure, he just gets a a mural on the wall, but looks like there's some boxing gloves you can try on. Colonel Sanders and Muhammad Ali, buddy cop movie, ride it, make a million. And look at this snow globe. It's got the giant baseball bat from the Louisville Slugger factory, some boxing gloves from Muhammad Ali, they got a horse in there, a barrel of bourbon. They've got the uh, riverboat. This is this is all encompassing. Louisville. I guess this is an Australian themed horse because it's got uh, koalas riding on its back. Oh, and then there's a shark with dead eyes, black, like a doll's eyes. All right, now I'm not exactly sure why, but this section of Louisville is known as the Wig district. There is, for some reason, an abundance of wake shops. I'm not sure if there is a breakout in, in hair loss in this particular area or, or whatnot, but uh, let's look at some of these wig shops. All right, this establishment here, this is Mimi's Wigs. So many, so many severed women's heads. Reminds me of that witch in Return to Oz that collects heads. Very nice looking suits right here. I think this is like a, would be like a preacher suit right there. I guess it's a Steve Harvey brand suit. As cool as those hats are, I could not pull that off. Here we have Kentucky wigs.
I guess this is also where you can buy big awesome hats for the Kentucky Derby. Finally, we have JJ Wig Shop. So yes, folks, if you need a wig, Louisville is the place for you. The Love Boutique, I wonder if it's some sort of like flower shop or, or something. It's, oh, oh no, not, not at all. Look what we have here under the bridge. Oh no, a den of trolls. Listen here, Mr. Troll, we, we need to have a heart to heart. You, you need to understand, wallowing in negativity, wallowing in aggressiveness, you know, it, these are all feelings we have. You know, we get frustrated as human beings, we want to lash out. You know, maybe you didn't have the best upbringing, maybe you had a lot of tragedy in your life, but, but hurting me or, or hurting another stranger, that's not going to make you feel better. That's, that's just going to make you more angry, and that anger, that hatred that rots inside you, you know, it, it is so much more fulfilling for the human being to create rather than destroy. You know what? We, we can put things behind us. You know what? I'll shake your hand. You know, come come into my live chat. You know, if you're, if you're using some 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 creepy uh, secret identity, drop that. Use your real name. We'll start over. We can be friends. The, the, the positivity and the friendship that, that, that we could share, it may surprise you. You know, as an act of solidarity, I'll even check out the troll pub here under the bridge. Closed. Guess they uh, don't accept my kind here. Look out that. There's a giant naked golden man right here in the middle of Louisville. Now this might be the strangest of these painted horses I've seen. This one, it has a solar panel on the back and this is outside a optometrist's office. And uh, on the other side, on the horse's chest, because it's an optometrist, I'm guessing it's a giant eyeball, a solar-powered eyeball. What is going on? Here on this private street in Louisville is a collection. This is a collection known as Jerry's Junk, a man who just likes collecting things and has organized it in a nice little hoard in his yard. You can see, uh, Statue of Liberty, a Sinclair dinosaur. Very cool stuff here. Of course, since it's Kentucky, he has to have a horse. Take a little peek in the window here. That's Charlie McCartney. See what else we got. Quite a fantastic collection, if you ask me. Like these lamps here. It's just an arm holding the light. That's Jerry Lots. Going around the side, we can get a better view. That's creepy. And it's not that. It's that race car guy, I think. An absolute world of junk wonder. Look at that gorilla right there, it's amazing. So much to look at, hardly know what to focus on. Got an old British telephone booth and yeah, he's got ET inside for some reason. He's even got his own caboose here. Unfortunately, it is private property, so we can't go in and look around, but it's pretty cool that you can at least see some of the amazing collection just through the fence. Tucked away back behind this industrial area is something pretty special. So check this out. We have ourselves a Triceratops, and this just ain't any Triceratops. This is the Triceratops from the New York 1964 Fair. This would be one of the dinosaurs created by the Sinclair Oil Company in their booth at the legendary 64 World's Fair. So this is a one-of-a-kind 
you can see it's got tremendous, tremendous detail on it. It's very cool looking and in very good condition. No idea why it ended up here behind a factory in Louisville, but I'm just glad it's still around. I really like the colors, the design. It's just really a top-notch sculpture. Really appreciate you guys watching. Always nice to be able to wander around a city uh, like Louisville where you haven't really had a chance to dig in and just kind of go around and see little amazing bits and pieces such as the World's Fair Triceratops. I appreciate everyone watching. Um, please, uh, if you like to see other places and cities I've been, check down in the description. There's an interactive map that'll show you all the places I've been. Make suggestions on where you feel I need to go. Uh, if you'd like to contribute to the channel, there's a t-shirt shop down there as well, as well as a link to my Patreon, where if you donate at least $3 a month, I will send you a postcard every month. But for now, this one's in the bag.